open SCAD we're going to do here is we're going to try to make this cabinet handle. This this one originally was, like I said, made in, um, in SketchUp, but I think we can do it in here as well. So the first thing we need to do is build us some cylinders, right? So cylinder, and at this point we've just measured that one out quickly and we have it on the board. So we want our cylinder's height to be 26. <laughs> well, the, the the hole you can make to be five, but um, we're going to make this that first cylinder to be 26, and then we'll make the diameter in this case because it's easier to measure that 13. If I do a quick render of that one, you'll see there's our beginning piece, and we can even at this point if we like put in, or, or maybe we'll do it in the next one. So I have that. First, first one there. The next thing I want is to cut out a little hole in the bottom for it. So I'm going to, because I'm lazy here, I'm just going to copy paste the next line in. But I want to make the hole, let's see, how deep should we make it? We can make it be like 10 maybe, because the screws don't need to go in that, that far. We'll make it 15 to be on the safe side in case you have extra long screws for the cabinet. And the diameter on that one, that's the hole for where the screw is going to go in. And we just measured that, and that's going to be four. So if we do that, we're going to end up with one down here that you can't actually see at the moment. So what do we need to do if we want to make these guys one subtract out of the other? Remember we were kind of talking about, like, this is the cheese, and these are going to be the holes. What, what command do we use? Subtracting difference, right? Everybody wants to be quiet because I'm recording. <laughs> so we highlight this one. I'm going to tab it all in just to uh, make it all look nice and neat. If I render that one out now, I should have that hole there in the bottom. And you'll see that that hole now, because it's so small, actually has just, uh, what, six sides on that one, or five, uh, Pentagon side? So we want to probably bump up our, our sides and a quick and easy way to do that is to do that dollar sign fn equals, and we'll go up to 30, I think, on this one. Let's see. 30 will give us a pretty nice one. If you wanted to go a little higher, you could. It's not going to be a really big, complex model, so that should give us just kind of the size we want. All right, so that's our very, very first one. That's our, that's our stud, like the part that's coming off of the cabinet. Let's make that into a module so we can use, reuse that one again. Module, we'll call that stud. Although it might be called a standoff or something. I'm not a real cabinet <laughs> handle designer, so it might be called something else. So now I can call that module anytime I want. Remember, if I try to test this and it doesn't show up, that's because I didn't call the module. So if I want to make it show up, I can say stud like that and do my check, and now it shows up. Now I also want that there to be a second one and it for it to kind of jump way over to the other place. So I can put that one in right now. There's my first stud and I'll copy paste and I'll translate the second one. And we'll move that one over. What do we say? 76, which is about about three inches. Um, zero square bracket that no semicolon remember no semicolon because we want the next line to be the part it moves and oh I zoom out there it is so I just moved that over in the x-axis remember that's x uh, sorry in the y-axis it's x y z you can choose either one and you'll notice I didn't have to type in that whole other set I, I kind of have it there nicely and magically now we need a handle. So let's come down and we'll make the handle its own its own module too, not that it probably needs to be. Um, module, there we go. And this one is going to be essentially a lot of the same stuff. We're going to come down here, we'll put in the cylinder. We want the cylinder diameter to be the same for that sample that I showed you. But we want the height to be, what did we say? We measured the handle part and it was eight. 
Now, if I were to render this one out or, or make this one show up, it's going to be down here at the bottom because I haven't translated it yet. So I need to remember I need to translate this. And we'll move this one up, up in the Z axis, right? So we're going to say 0, comma, 0, comma, and then we want it to be higher than. Now, I'm going to exaggerate it the first time around. I'm going to make it go up about 30 just so we can see it. And do that. Oh, we haven't called the handle module, right? So call the handle module. And the modules are like functions. Like you need to, when you build those up, if you're doing other programming stuff, that cylinder run, there it is. So we're just calling that little handle module, and right now it's only hovering above that side. I do want to now do that same translate though, the one we use here. Let's do that translate, but do it inside of here. I want another one of those same cylinders. I want to translate it over. And doo -doo 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 -doo. I want to add, I want to move it over, right? We're going to move it over 76 but we also need to move it up 30 if we want to see it. So if I put in the 30, click, now I've got my two. Those are the parts that, I'll lower this down in just a moment, but those are the two that I have. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use that hall command because I think this is going to really easily kind of create the handle shape I want. This is actually easier to do in OpenSketch than it is in SketchUp. So by using the hall command and encapsulating those two cylinders, it's making that really nice kind of rounded uh, hold piece. Pretty groovy, right? All right, so let me just tab this in to make my spacing all pretty light. Got that piece held, we got that in there. The next thing I want to do is I just really want to move down the height of that one. So I'm going to actually change this one to 26 because I think that's what I had. And I want to move this one down to 26. Now, you have some funny options here. Hey, Carson, you have a couple things here where we can uh, make these handles actually be kind of different heights and shapes if we really, really wanted to. So if I, if I was looking to make these different, I could, but generally I'm going to put them both the same. One of the things I was thinking that would be cool, uh, so here we've, we've built that handle now, and it's a really, it really takes very little code in order to do this. We're looking at like, what, 20, line, or 20 lines of code if you take out the, let me do a full render here, uh, F6 render, and there you can see it's got a nice little handle. Now when I print this, I'm not going to print it this way. I'm going to print it up here on this flat face. I'm going to print it with the studs facing up. I'm going to print it like in that orientation. That way I'll get a nice shiny flat face to it. Easy enough? One other quick thing I was going to add is that based on this uh, option here, you can actually come in here and change how, how many sides your uh, even though they're cylinders, you can kind of make them be square ones, which give you that really kind of pointy option to it. And this is just by changing one of those variables in there. The other, the other point I wanted to make is that uh, besides being able to make it go down to like, you know, triangles, which it, incidentally, it also makes the holes that you're going to screw into triangles. So it might not be exactly what you want. One of the things I thought would be really cool is if somebody built um, built a couple of these handles and made it so the edge was maybe angled a little bit, George, because then if it was angled a little bit, you could kind of put like label tape on it or you know stickers on it, or you could put you know whatever else you could view it on a different angle, and I thought it'd be pretty cool. The uh, let me get that one back. There we go. So we get kind of a nice smooth edge on this one. Thank you.